today we'll be starting with the seventh experiment in the hardware uh, section of the microprocessor lab. It consists of scanning an 8 cross 3 keypad for key closure. And what we need to do is we need to store the row and column numbers, which is according to the matrix that is uh, shown to you right in the picture that you're seeing on the screen right now. It consists of three rows and eight columns as you're seeing in the layout. This is the actual uh, circuit that will be visible to you on the eight cross three keypad. But the internal layout consists of three rows, three rows and eight columns where the first row contains all the switches from zero to seven. The second row contains eight and nine along with all your arithmetic operators of addition, subtraction, multiplication, division and percentage along with the dot operator. The last row consists of all your special keys like AC, CE, CHK equal to MC, MR, M minus and M plus. So the objective of this program is to find out corresponding to a key which is being pressed by the user on the keypad interface, what is the row corresponding row and column at which the key is located. So that has to be done with the help of an assembly language program written in MASM. So now we'll be moving on to the execution of the program. We'll uh, test the program for three outputs, one for a numerical, uh, numerical character, the other one for an arithmetic operator, the third one for a special key. So now we'll be actually moving on to the program itself. We have uh, saved our code as 10B, V1, so CD 8086, MASM, 10B V5 dot ASM, link 10B V5 dot OBJ. I'm sure most of you know how to uh, assemble your programs using MASM. It consists of only three commands, MASM, LINK and DEBUG. And in DEBUG you can have different options. So for some programs you will be using TRACE, for the rest you will be uh, using the single step execution operator G. So now. We are testing it for the first character. So initially I will be pressing any a numerical value. So let's try with 5. So your output says row number equals 1, column number equals 6 and key pressed is 5. In the code we have also included an option to terminate the execution of the program by pressing any key on the computer keyboard. Remember that to quit out of the program you need to press the key on the computer keyboard not on the 8 cross 3 keypad. So now we'll press for the second output. So quit. Debug. G. Now I'm testing it for a new arithmetical operator. Let's try with the percentage. So here you can see row number 2, column number 8. The key pressed is percentage. The last option. Debug. G. Now I'm, uh, let's go with the M plus. So here in our code we have given the value for M plus as Y. So it says row number 3, column number 8. This is exactly according to the uh, layout that we have for the 8 cross 3 keypad. So here you can see that M plus is located in the third row, 8th column. Which is exactly what you see on your output screen. So it says row number 3, column number 8, key press is equal to Y. So quit and come back. Just press any key on the computer keyboard.